Guess how many titles has Yannick Sinner won in his short career? I'll give you two seconds to think about it. One, two, it's seven. The guy has won seven titles and you can call me a casual but I forgot that he has won so many. He has won more titles than Taylor Fritz, Hubert Hurkacz, Felix Ogeliasim, Karen Khachanov and Pablo Carreño Busta. And that bomb has been a pro for 15 years now and he has been a solid top 20 player for 10 of those years. So that actually means something. But after further inspection I found out one thing. And that is the fact that he is moving a bit like Kasper Root. What I mean by that is that all of his titles were won at the lower level tournaments. I guess at least Yannick became the first teenage ATP 500 champion so he still has something to hold over our boy Kasper Root. And he has been a runner up at the Masters event and generally he has gotten pretty unlucky with draws at the Grand Slam events. But that was in the past and on this channel we primarily primarily talk about the future because everyone and their mama in tennis discourse is talking about how tennis was better in the past. However, I'm looking at the upcoming schedule and I'm salivating. I'm salivating baby. Because even though gingers do not like sunshine, I am seeing an opportunity for Yannick Sinner to do something special. And the sunshine double is a place to do it. Six out of his seven titles were won on hard courts. He already has been a runner up in Miami. We are not sure whether Djokovic will be able to play. I don't know whether Nadal will be ready to do anything great. Alcaraz is coming off an injury hiatus. Tsitsipas has been playing pretty great at the start of the season, but everyone knows he is prone to playing a stinker in an important match which means that he is beatable. So there are encouraging signs to think that Yannick can show that he is the man during that American master swing. And I think that it's time for him to win that big tournament because he has entertained the masses in some of the best tennis matches in recent history. He has been going through some injury woes and in general I think that everyone understands that he is the future of tennis so he needs to solidify that notion with a memorable tournament win. So join me in a ginger ninja for the sunshine double campaign because I truly think that he can win at least one of those masters tournaments. Also shout out to Sebi Baez for winning in Cordoba and I know that he was crying of happiness when he saw that golden swing on a calendar because boy oh boy everyone knows that he can do anything on any surface other than clay. So congrats to him on a clay court tournament win. Congrats to Yiming Wu on his first ATP title in Dallas and don't forget to spread the Yannick Center for the Sunshine Double Agenda. Also subscribe to the channel for more tennis content and until next time, take it easy my friend.